Yeah, he did a nice job. Um, some uncomfortable at bats first time through. I think our guys actually did a good job second time through. Some hard uh, contact uh, with the line drive from Matty and Bader and, and a lot of those guys actually uh, squared it up. Um, didn't go our way. On the other side, Wayno struggled early with Gave you guys left you in a position to win that game anyway. Yeah, he definitely gave us a shot and battled through it early on. Couldn't locate the fastball, and uh, they were aware of it. Sat soft and um, were able to get some uh, production on uh, on the breaking ball and the cutter. Uh, started locating his fastball a little better and, and got us to uh, the six. But yeah, they got him early. You uh, you left him in there to face Murray instead of bringing TJ in. Talk about that. Yeah, that's a part of the game that I mulled over quite a bit um, before the game even started, right? You got Vado seen since 2019, I think, 784 sinkers uh, from a left-hander. He's hit 340 with an 893 OPS. So you're sitting there, and McFarland's going to have to go to the sinker uh, to get the double play. Um, I'm not a big believer in small sample size, but he's three for five because of that. Um, He's not going to, with the three batter minimum, he's not going to face Moran after Votto. He's going to see Aquino, Drury, and then followed by Senzel. So, took her shot with Bueno. How much does three batter minimum in, in that particular situation factor in? Uh, yeah, it definitely factors in because you're bunching the three matchup projections over just one, right? So, you're trying to figure out what's the best over three. And um, in that situation, if we had to do it again, flip a coin. Yeah. The decision to leave Pujols in in the sixth when they go to the right-hander, what went into that? Yeah, uh, off of that specific right-hander, the um, splits aren't nearly as, as great as Warren, Sims, and Seiza. Mm -hmm. So that was the one righty we would be okay giving him. Um, that was the kind of thought behind that one. We hadn't seen Woodford for a while. He looked good, right? Yeah, in a long, tough spot, really. for, for not pitching in a long time. Uh, good conversation with him yesterday. He's uh, He's been a pro about it. Uh, situationally presented itself today, and um, he did a nice job. When they're getting leadoff hits, I guess five of the six innings, they have the leadoff man on. Yeah. How does that change the way you know, he he would approach an inning? Do you think? Yeah, I mean that's what you're trying to avoid, right? It's getting that you want to get that leadoff guy out, so pitching out of the stretch, and it, it definitely complicates things. Um, I thought once he was able to locate his fastball. That's where it changed for him, and he was able to give us a shot. Um, prior to that, it was uh, a lot easier to just sit soft.